Halong day. Halong day. Secret stash of rice wine. So, like a little soy sauce flavor, a little chili, some herbs, lemongrass. Talking with my mouth full. Welcome to another video in our Vietnam series. We are currently cruising through Ha Long Bay on a three day, two night excursion with Mon Cherie Cruises. In today's video, we are going to be showing you what our day two itinerary in Ha Long Bay looked like aboard the Mon Cherie. Beautiful morning. I can't believe how beautiful that was today. It was unbelievable on the top deck, the sunrise views in the sky. But now I haven't had coffee yet and I'm starving. Time for some breakfast. After a beautiful morning on the sunroof, we just enjoyed breakfast and today we are getting dropped off an island, I guess. Catba Island here in Holland Bay. Nice. Um, I think we're doing some bicycling, they have electric cars, kind of explore the island. And then I think we're going to have lunch and then in the afternoon something else is planned. I think just a relaxing beach afternoon. We're excited to go check it out, get off the boat for a little bit and have an adventure day. Bay, located two city, Ha Long City and Ha Phong Pho City. And Ha Long Bay lies 1,533 kilometers.
is located in Northeast Vietnam and is one of the most popular travel destinations in the country. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is known for its stunning emerald waters and beautiful limestone cliffs. Tourists and locals alike come here to experience the secluded beaches, mysterious caves, and charming floating fishing villages. Vietnamese, I know buggy. What is a buggy? <laughs> buggy is similar. The electric car. Some foreigner touching me call a buggy. <laughs> All English so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Cat Ba is the largest island in Halong Bay. It has such great biodiversity that a portion of the island has been designated as a national park. Cat Ba has become increasingly popular for its beaches, trekking, biking, and visiting Viet Hai Village. This was the first stop on our itinerary and we had a blast biking to the quaint mountainside village. But oh, I'm starting to feel tired. <laughs> Cause I can run, but I can't hide the How you doing, Tang girl? I know I can't keep bottled up inside. And all I want to know is are you ready for the ride? What have I been waiting for? Hello. Oh, I can <laughs> run, but I can't hide. <laughs> While there are a few different ways to get to the lovely Viet Hai village, we highly recommend biking. The paved path winds through the jungle and offers beautiful views of the mountains, water, caves, and local life. Viet Hai village has a population of about 300 people. However, the number of people actually living in the village is much less because some villagers choose to travel ashore for work. The village itself is becoming more developed, but still focuses on ecotourism. We were able to see an area preserved for tourists to experience what village life was like 40 years ago. 
here just only seven, seven years to have uh, electricity. But before we take it on the We branch. learned about fishing, farming, and how villagers were able to obtain the necessities like food and water. And even we put the corn inside. Corn inside, we make it broken to no. Faster. Come and dairy. Faster. Come and dairy. Help me. Help me. All right, Sammy. Yeah, for about two minutes. Yeah, I know. As a trap tour, we are in that area. Mm -hmm. Then we come here, and then we come to Viet High. While the village is becoming more modern, the people still live in great harmony with nature, making this a very peaceful stop on our day. I'll be damned. It is like a cigarette bomb. That is interesting. Hookah bar. Um, right. This is much more advanced. But it has to be. Yeah. Straight tobacco though. It's not like now it's... it feels stronger more than tobacco right. because tobacco have a little filter. Yeah. Right. Right. And the other one, the water inside here, nicotine before many people eat sure. the real yeah. tobacco. Even the water instead of liter. But it's still strong. Oh yeah. Fish trap and Crabs and the uh, wow. Yes, make some grunts for us. Oh, you gotta smell, don't you? <laughs> Oh, there it is. Yes, that's good. Thank you, Tom. All right. Wow. Wow. Mission accomplished. I'm impressed. We got water. Oh, it's got some stuff in it this time, too. And the adi-dog flower. Now? Cobra wine. Co cobra wine. We say Vietnamese language, right? Yeah. Chukman number. Okay, very, very hard to do, right? Yeah. Say, Mot Ai Ba Yo. Mot Ai Ba Yo. Okay. Loudly. Mot Ai Ba Yo. Close. Go. <laughs> Good? <laughs> cobra taste to it? Did it taste like cobra? Popular. Put the dry, dry wine. Now we are heading back to the boat on our bikes and I'm pretty sure that they have lunch prepared for us when we get there. So we're all kind of hungry and we're ready for some food. Oh, that was
was so cool. That village was so unique. I love these limestone cliffs everywhere you look. It's just so beautiful. We're getting back on our boat now. We're about to get some lunch. I think our next stop is kayaking after that. Such a great excursion day. I love that it's only five of us too. Yeah, can't get better than that. Throw on a little private guide. So cool seeing some of the fishermen. So one guy was clamming. He had three bucks of clams. Great experience. So far so good. This lunch time we're having a vegetarian lunch. We have served by mushrooms over here, steamed veggies. This looks like falafel, so I'm excited about that. And then I think this is fried sweet potatoes. It's pretty good. We're on this fish farm right now, out in the middle of the bay. It's pretty cool, our guide grew up right here. He grew up with his father and his brother, six homes here, and he's showing us around his local fishing village. We just stopped at this floating fish farm and we're having some tea in Vietnam. Whenever you're having a drink or serving something, you always serve the old people first or the eldest people in the group first. <laughs> the eldest people in the group first and then the youngest people get served last. So You guys get the cold tea. I get the cold tea because I'm the baby. <laughs> Yeah. How slow can you go? I'm gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> He was showing me the secret stash of rice wine. Ooh, that's a dangerous game. Ooh. And you like rice wine? Not so much. No? Are you sure? Sure. They don't care? You're okay. No. I just drilling some a little behind the fam bam, but they started kayaking and there's a kayak back here. Found the paddle, let's do it. Good form, look cool.
Thank you, guys. Very fun. I caught up to the group. So cool. All of that day was kick ass. We're getting back on the main boat now. Thank you guys. Back home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it is time to try our rice wine we got at the fishing village. Mom can do the honors first. Yeah. He said it was going to be like sake. So it's like, like a whiskey. It's like vodka. Wants, you guys want wine or beer? Because you want wine not, or beer. Just to keep it cold. And it tastes like tequila. <laughs> no, I wish it did. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Want to buy beer? Cold beer? How much are the chips? 150 for two. 150. How much is the beer? Three beer, 100. Three beers for 100. I went. Thank you. You didn't get anywhere yet? A long day. A long day. Yeah, it was so Beautiful. great. Beautiful. To our wine that we snuck on board and. Ground stuff a wine opener for. We suck it on. We suck it on. And we suck it on, and we have to use our room glasses to drink it with. As long as we're not drinking it out of the neck of the bottle. Dinner is apparently ready. I hope it's something different than last night, but we have six different courses, I believe, again. I am hungry and excited, so if it is different, I'll make sure I show you guys the food. Another one you are steamed right with yogurt. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's different, yes. Perfect. Yeah, sounds good. Are you sad it's our last dinner? I am sad. This cruise has been so nice. It's really nice being served like a set menu. So I'm excited it's different. Looking nice, looking sharp. Thank you. No chicken. No chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you took the chicken out. <laughs> Thank you. Our first course is a mushroom soup tonight. This is day two. This is it. Nice and hot. <laughs> mm, I've never heard of egg flour. In the South, we call it egg drop, but it tastes just like this. Egg drop soup. But it's much of this. Tommy got a pineapple juice because he guilt tripped one of the workers into sending him a spaghetti lunch and she forgot to send it to him so she said I'll give you a free drink and this is what she came up with. So the second dish we're having is a green mango salad. It's a bunch of fresh, crispy, crunchy veggies, crinkle cut. Looks like there's some chili on it as well. Carrots, cucumber, whatever this white stuff is. Taro maybe. Crunchy veggie salad with a little bit of spice. Delicious. That tastes like a carrot. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm. Pickled cucumber. That's like a pickle. <laughs> At least that's what they ought to call it. Whole rabbit. And the old standby. Apple of the pine. Ooh, apple of the pine. Won't try my apple of the pine. Or piña. Or, as the common American likes to say, pineapple. Delicious. All right, for our third course, we have some tempura tofu and wow. some potato cakes. I'm going to try the tempura tofu. Chewy, crunchy, it's like a sesame flavor to it. Tommy will love it. This is so okay for me. Looks like it has some good seasonings on it. Your face. Potato cakes. Also, we have potato cakes. I think they're just potato french fries fried in a cake with some herb. Mm -hmm. It's a french fry bowl. The healthy french fries are like good, tasty, bad for you french fries. Healthy. <laughs> so I'm trying the tempeh tofu. They give you a little sweet and sour sauce for it. One of my favorite tofus I've ever had. It's crispy on the outside, so tasty, and that sauce gives a little spice. It's delicious. Our next dish is an order of sauteed mushrooms, and Tom and Jackie have sauteed chicken, and we also got it with steamed rice and vegetables. Look at this little button mushroom. Look at this little guy. How's the sauce? So it's a little soy sauce flavor, a little chili, some herbs, lemongrass. Talking with my mouth full. That's always a good thing. Is this traditional? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this is a traditional dessert, Vietnamese dessert. It is black sticky rice topped with yogurt. The waitress said she prefers to eat it cold, but ours is served to us a little bit warm, but she said it's still good either way. The yogurt's creamy, and Tom's right, it does balance it out. But the black sticky rice kind of has like a berry taste to it. It's really good. Tom makes something similar at home, but he puts a scoop of coconut ice cream on top. And that's really, really good. We were so happy with our choice to do the three-day, two-night cruise. It enabled us to have a full day of excursions throughout the area and not feel like we were being rushed. Thanks for joining us for day two of our cruise and tune in next week where we wrap up our time in Halong Bay and travel to a brand new destination here in Vietnam. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you.